out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Live by the Sword Tactics, which is a new game. It's coming out later this year, this summer, I think. Um, and full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free. And this video is sponsored. I received $10. Nine more, nine more. To do this video. So I'm moving up in the world, guys. I am like shooting up like just so much mooning is what i'm doing it's like it's just wild it's just wild but we're gonna play hold up all right here we go so we're gonna get into the tutorial i suppose and uh and get into it gotta earn that skrilla you know All right, boys, this spot will do. We're going to cover some combat basics before we get back home. Let's start with you, Will. Look at the bottom left area and you'll see your available actions. All right, so I can ba basic attack or cheer, sure. Click the tile next to me and select your basic attack. Uh, alrighty. Basic attack. Oh, I gotta, yeah, attack that dad. Haha, <laughs> take that, daddle. <laughs> Good hit, son. Next, let's try a ranged attack. Edgar, move up a wee bit and try to hit me. Repeat the same steps as your brother. Uh, oh, okay. Let's do it. Haha, <laughs> take that, dad. You suck. Nice throw. That one stung a bit. In my time on the battlefield, I came across many fighters. Some used melee basic attacks and others used ranged, but no one has melee and a ranged basic attack. Only ever one or the other. An archer friend of mine would only ever attack at range, for example. Next, we'll look at abilities. Abilities are actions that are, aren't basic attacks. They can do damage as well as tons of other things. Sure. A character can have ranged and melee based abilities. You may know tons of abilities, but you can only ever bring four into battle. Don't want to bog the mind down while you're trying to fight. William, go ahead and cheer on your brother for that good throw. All right. Yeah, let's cheer him on. Nice. Now that you've cheered on Edgar, right click him to see the buff you've given him. Buffs are positive status effects. If you hover over the buff icon with your cursor, you've been cheered on. You feel great. Great. Okay, now let me show you a debuff. Debuffs are negative status effects. Now hover over my debuff just as you did, right? Everything hurts and you're always tired. Because <laughs> he's, he's a dad, right? You boys are learning quickly. Soon enough, you'll be the defenders of the village and I can retire. Okay, Edder, act like you're going to attack me again, but this time we'll take a look at the information in the bottom left. Ooh, this is a there's a lot of there's a lot of this tutorial stuff, so I might I might fast forward. I someone recently said that skipping the tutorial is like skipping an episode of a TV show. Um, I'll try not to skip any important bits, so I'll I'll come out of the fast forward if there's important bits. Um, but if it's just sort of text about text, then I'll skip it. <laughs> Alright, so we're back. William, wake up! We need you to focus. I know, Ed. I just got distracted for a second. So this is us grown up, right? That's the idea. I see her, Sarah. Over there! Over here! Oh, whatever. I know how to read. I can read. Don't tell me I can't read. Thank God I wasn't sure if you had all seen the signal. If you all had seen the signal. Thieves are right behind me. Here we go. Oh, great. She has friends. I guess we'll have to gut them, too. Let's make it quick. We can't be late to the meeting. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, God. We've got a... we got a, we got a bunch of abilities, yo. Um, so... 
we can we can move up to this high ground. What does high jump do? I don't know. Let's move up to this high ground. And then damage three, damage two, and we'll and we'll we'll hit this guy here. Sure. Yep. Get up on that. What da Nice. Ow. I got stabbed. I didn't like that. Not one bit. Oh, she's going to get... Is she going to get killed? Should I have not put her all the way out there? I don't know. Um, acid vial, alchemist stone. I don't, I don't know what that does. It doesn't actually say. Okay. Well, that's fine. Quickness potion, sticky mixture. I, I don't know what any of these things do, so... And then... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what an alchemist stone... I don't... Uh, sticky mi Rage potion. Okay. So we can go back. So if we go here... Yeah, we'll give her the... We'll give her a quickness potion. Yeah. Now she's super fast. I don't know if that did anything. I really don't know what that did. Probably nothing. She's just going to get killed here. Oh, he missed. Shiny stab. So is it... Oh, it's this guy again. Man, they're really focusing fire, aren't they? Um, downward slash. So let's... Move up to there. And let's taunt this guy. We want him to come down off there and stop attacking my friend. Ha <laughs> ha, loser. <laughs> oh what so I'm not controlling that one that one just happens by itself I guess right so mend wound oh no okay can we oh, can we heal yeah yeah we need to heal her because she took a bunch of damage Keep her alive. We, we got this going on, guys. We, we got it figured out. We solved this. All right, so now... Barrage on... This guy. Haha. <laughs> Take that! What is... So what are we doing? So we can still move or something. Oh no, we'll stay there. We'll rest. Okay. So this guy's gonna stab again. I mean, I don't, I don't mind so much. So he's thinking. Don't know why he's thinking. Oh, he's gonna jump down. Do they take flanking damage? I, I mean, I really hope not. Um, yeah, let's throw an acid vial at him, I suppose. I mean, does that, does that like poison him? Yeah, let's move over there. All right, so that guy just moves past. Now we hamstrung him. Oh dear. Okay. Stop it. No. Okay. There we go. Yep. So we haven't killed anybody yet, and in fact, she's nearly dead. Did she die? Oh no, she's still alive. What is that guy doing? Where is he going? All right. Yep, heal her up. Or try to. Wow, that is not a lot of healing, guys. That is, uh, in fact, a small amount of healing. Let's move her in the way all right so what does high jump do it doesn't actually say what it does jumps up or down two height levels oh i see snipe let's basic attack um where did the did that dude die or he got healed or something i don't actually know what's going on 
Yeah, I guess we're basic attacking from there. Hopefully they don't kill her, because that's going to be bad. She can go up to the top. There we go. No! So is she dead? Is this supposed to be hard? I don't... I really don't know. They, they, they explained the rules and then sort of dropped us in and I... I don't, I don't know what we were supposed to be doing. I'm pretty sure I just gave my healer a rage potion. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, this is all going poorly, team. Like, really poorly. This is, this is like the tutorial level. Um, nope. And I still don't know... I still don't know what old dude was doing. Yeah. So now he's going to come in and attack. So he's he's uh, he's doing his own stuff. Nope. Sure. Hey, I killed him with my panicked shout. Nice. So I guess running my archer in to get killed was a bad idea? That's the that's the vibe I'm getting. Alright, who, who Yep. Cause like is she gone for I, I'm really curious as is she gone forever? I'm I'm hoping not. I'm honestly hoping not. Cause she seemed cool. But, I mean, I guess it would make sense if she were gone forever. She did die. Maybe she was supposed to die. Oh, we missed. Classic. Alright, this is the guy that we, get, we have no control over. Yeah, love it. Yep, and then we'll do a basic attack on old dude here. Medic basic attack. Ha ha! So gotta stab the med medic, I suppose. Makes sense. Why not? Um, Alright. So, so far... Yeah... I mean, the combat is definitely happening. It does feel a little... I don't know. Lackluster or something? I'm not sure. Like, it's not bad. Maybe it will pick up once I understand what's going on a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, my guy died. This guy has been basically nothing but a disappointment. But I, I, I suppose I have no control over that, so... hi -ya! Right. And... There we go. I won! So is she dead? That's the question. Oh no, she's back. These bandana colors are from one of the local thief gangs. Good chance there's more of them around. We should move quickly and intercept them before they find out what happened. Will, there's no need to rush into another battle. Let's go back to the village, regroup, and have a rest. I'm with Will on this one, Ed. We should strike while the iron is hot. Sigh, there's no point asking you to back me on this, is there, Brooke? You know I'll be going with Will. Someone has to keep him healed. Besides, when have you turned down a fight? Thanks, Brooke. It seems my older brother has grown to be a bit of a coward in his older years. Wow, rude. So that dude's just chilling. Okay. So we killed all those guys. Everyone be silent. They haven't noticed us yet. We have time to position ourselves where we want for the battle. Okie dokie. Uh, right. 
Can have them hang out together over here. Sure. Yeah? Alright. Up there, boing! Nice! Gotta love that jump. So, I now know that they come back to life, which is handy. Alright, so we want him... Oh, he's gonna get killed if he goes out like that. Um, we'll move him to here. Actually. Let's move him to there, and let's... Yep. There you go. You can have a rage potion. Booyah! Get after it. Nice. Alright. Um, so they're coming. Alright. Let's go engage them on foot. Oop. And give that guy a debuff. Rawr! We got you! And he's going to go out and take some... Oh, uh, I thought he was going to take some high ground, but... I was wrong! And then what? Um, I don't know what phase does. And it doesn't really say. So that's... That's a problem. But I guess she's just going to come out here. Alright, so... There we go. Let's shoot that guy. And I totally missed. Classic. Yep. So now they're going to come up there and stab her, I guess. Well, that's bad. Yeah, here they come for the stabbing. Rude. Totally rude. Alright, so... I don't know what a sticky mixture does either, but we're going to use it on... Oh. Yeah, let's debuff this guy there as well. Did nothing to him. Okay. We are doing very poorly here, team. Very poorly indeed. So he has armor, which was good. Let's do it. I'm not I'm not hitting anybody, man. I'm not hitting anybody. Let's Let's go over there onto the thing. Yep, that's fine. So he's taunting. He's doing some stuff. We we are doing stuff, team. We are in the middle of doing stuff. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. Um Let's see what phase does. So, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that did, but we'll we'll move away anyway. Um, there we go. Nice. So we really we really nailed that guy. What does that do? The archer gains one range for every height level above the ground. Okay. Cool. Yep, you can just stay up there, and we'll see what else happens. So he does a little stab. So it's a it's a sort of a board game, kind of tactical board game kind of thing. Um, I like little sprites. I wish they weren't moving around all the time. If I'm being if I'm being totally, what does the alchemist stone do? Um, yes. So he's going to use his alchemist stone. He's going to do some extra damage. Um, on this one. Yeah, there we go. And did nothing. He's done nothing the entire game so far. That dude is so useless. 
Stop stabbing my healer! Ugh. Yep. Yep, we're gonna go do that, I suppose. We're gonna stab this healer. So she's gotta heal herself. Yep, get up and heal yourself. Right. Can you get away, or... I feel like that's not far enough away. Yeah, let's just... Let's finish this guy off so he stops attacking people. Good. Excellent job. Yep. Waiting for him to go. So the AI is pretty smart. You know, they focus fire and do stuff. So I like that. I like that the AI is not um, just a, a total pushover. Because sometimes they are, guys. Sometimes they are. What does this do? Next basic attack by three. Right. Um, right. Yep, let's give it to that guy. Even though we have no control over what he's going to do. He threw a knife from like all the way across the map. That is incredibly rude. <sighs> Fine. I guess you got to do what you got to do, guy. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. And his basic attack did nothing. So far, the stuff has done just absolutely nothing. The only person that's consistently doing any damage is the archer. So, hopefully she can just win by herself because no one else is no one else is doing anything. Seriously. Yeah, he's nearly dead. He's about to die. Oh no, he, he blocked that with his armor because he had a shield up or something. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll throw an acid vial. We'll see if this guy will do anything, any kind of damage at all. Hey, he did some damage. I mean, it didn't do anything. It accomplished nothing. Wow, we are not winning this fight very well. I'm just... I don't know what Bear Hug does. Um... Yeah, let's, let's Bear Hug that guy. So he's in a Bear Hug. Love it. Let's dead eye that guy. It did nothing. Again. I love how many times you do stuff and it does nothing. And by love, I mean, I don't like it. Rude. Super rude. What does this one do? Uh... Yeah, let's basic attack him. Got two damage there. I mean, I should have attacked the guy that was already hurt, but that's okay. Yep. So, nearly dead. We've nearly got them done. Alright, so it's my turn. Barrage. This guy. Yeah, so they've... So, she's, the, she's definitely the best... She's the best character. I'm just... I'm putting it out there. She's the best character. Even though she died last game, uh, uh, last round, I figured it out. She's easily the best. Everyone else is bad. And by bad, I mean they're just not as effective as her. Yeah. Um... Oh. Yeah, and this... Should kill him. Nice. Oh, he's gonna go up and try and hit my guy? Not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. 
Goodbye. I mean, surely they just give up from here, right? They surrender. Oh no, he's gonna get his last attack. He's gonna get his last attack in. Whack! He got me. Totally got me. Watch, this does nothing. I told you, I called it. I 100% called it. Um, watch, this does nothing. Oh no, I got him. Five damage. Excellent. Right, so we won. That boy king we have now is proving how worthless he is. When dad was alive, these woods would never have been so dangerous. The king's guards would routinely patrol, and now they're nowhere to be seen. You know that isn't completely true. Dad had to cut down a few thieves here and there to help keep the village safe, even back then. Yes, but not this many. All I'm saying is that people are suffering while we wait for this boy to mature. Could be a decade until we get our peace back. We know, Ed. The war took a toll on everyone, and now we have to rebuild. Remember that boy king lost his father, too, and he is in, in an unenviable position. Unenviable? Do you not envy a full stomach? Do you not envy safety? What about the power to protect people? Is that not something you desire? Do not speak to me about a king's hardships, alchemist. Ed, don't work yourself out, out here. You need to stay on task. I am on task, woman. Have the thieves and rumors of invasion got you on edge today, brother? Aye, as you all should be. If the Kalulians decided to invade again, we would be at a massive disadvantage. Crime is up and the army is still well below the number of men we need to defend the kingdom. They wouldn't dare. They were defeated and sent home to that island of theirs with their tail between their legs. We should have followed and crushed them when we had the chance. Eliminated any risk of retaliation. With what army, Ed? You just said we still don't have enough men. We didn't have enough at the end of the war, either. I can hear them just a little further this way. Let's go. Right? So that was a, that was a cut scene. Looks like this fight will be tougher than the last. We might want to change up our tactics. Uh, in what way, though? Oh, I clicked random and just went for it. <laughs> That's classic. That's classic. Okay. Um, right. So if we go... And then we go high jump. Why can't she... Why can't she high jump? I don't understand why she can't high jump. I don't, okay. Why does this not work? Okay, there we go. Yep, give me that. Give me that high jump. There you go. Set yourself up, girl. Right, I think I'll fast forward through the battle because, um, yeah, there, I mean, it, it, there, there are tactics and it is interesting, but, uh, blinding potion, that's a new one. Um, <laughs> Right, so we won. Why are there so many of you in this forest today? Speak before I cut you down. Wait, he can still be useful. I say take him prisoner. I'll escort him to the village and ask him and question him there. 
We can learn where his friends are and clean the forest out properly from the village all the way to the beach. You lot continue on for the day and see if you find any stragglers. Right? Count your blessings, thief. Your head remains attached for now. All right, brother. We'll continue scouting onward. I'll stop at the Merry Mare to make sure they're coping. Right? Stay safe. You as well. Okie dokie. This spot will do nicely now to teach you some manners. It's not polite to interrupt a man's thieving, you know? Yeah, you messed with the wrong gang. Here's what's going to happen. First, I'm going to beat you to a pulp. Then you're going to tell me... Why does he look so sad? If you've seen any pirates around. What? What the hell are you talking about? Do, not un do you not understand the situation you're in? I don't think you quite understand the situation you're in. Whoa! <laughs> Right. Okay, so um let's go let's go to the main menu actually. Um and we're gonna check out Oh. We can't check out Tactician by completing Act Two of Story Mode. Okay, just give me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I died. Um, I was trying to get to uh, the point where I could unlock, where I could unlock stuff. So this unlocks at the end of Act Two. Um, it's one of the things that I'm supposed to do for the, um, for the sponsorship. But it's like quite, yeah. There's a lot going on and. Oh man, like I kind of like the I, I kind of like the idea, but there's just the one song that plays whenever you're doing combat. Um, it just continuously plays, and the the combat. Uh, there are there is a strategy going on. There definitely is. There is stuff that you need to be paying attention to. You need to be paying attention to like who you need to focus fire on and stuff, and moving people around. And I obviously I'm just pressing random. And, and things and running into into issues there um, yeah so I'm, I'm probably not gonna get to this I'm not gonna get to this because it's quite it's quite a lot of playing of the game that um, I'm not I'm not it's not really my jam I'm more of like a first impressions kind of thing and story would be the main place the story's pretty good the story is you know interesting we've got interesting characters um, we've got stuff happening. It's pretty good, but you know what? Let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. And if this uh, ends in me not completing my thing, then I'm sorry about that. I tried uh, and I failed. Well, I, I think that the video is still good, but we'll see. All right, Live by the Sword Tactics is an unashamedly old school tactical RPG with modern gameplay ideas. Set after the fall of the land, you control two brothers who must traverse the kingdom to stop it from falling back into the darkness of conflict. Single player and multiplayer game modes available, as well as Skirmish and Tactician, um, which uh, Skirmish is just sort of like practicing battles, and then um, I'm not sure what Tactician is. 
but we didn't unlock it. We didn't get there. And there's also a multiplayer mode, and you can also make your own sort of scenarios and things. So um, it is an old school RPG. It's got that kind of old school thing going on. Uh, early access. So it's going to be in early access. Uh, or it's in early access. So it's out. Man, and oh, it is out. It's got 14 positive reviews. Came out on the 24th of June. Um, our studio is quite small. The goal of a full launch was something we wanted to achieve, but as we got closer and closer to the summer, we reassessed and saw to meet that goal, we would need we would have to cut features. We didn't want to do that, and after talk with everyone, we decided early access would allow us to deliver the game we want to the players and not sacrifice on quality. It also enables us to receive feedback from players while we are still in a development state to make meaningful changes. Right? No uh, time limit on the early access. When EA starts, players will have access to a select few game modes. These are online quick match multiplayer custom games with friends online and local player versus computer skirmishes. Then lastly, the tutorial. Right, but they've got, um, through EA, we will be adding in adventure mode, our roguelike mode that takes the core gameplay but adds new challenges. Characters will suffer permadeath if killed in battle. Eh, in battle. In battle, items can be purchased, new characters can be recruited, and more. Lastly, we will be adding in story mode, featuring all the characters in the game as they go on a journey with the while the story unfolds in front of the player. When story mode releases, we will also be adding uh, releasing ranked online matchmaking. When all of these features are out and in the game, then the game will be considered officially released. Right, so it is officially released, even though uh, it still says it's an early access. But it's got a demo that you can download, so if you liked what you saw there, you can download the demo, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, yet we read all that the game is a new take on tactical strategy gameplay characters do not gain experience points And you cannot collect overpowered equipment to easily bypass difficult fights You the player must become more skilled to achieve victory. Are you up to the challenge of becoming a true tactician? Uh, multiple game mode story mode that features a group of adventurers who discover an evil plot adventure mode that has you building the world as you explore it beware defeat means death in this mode tactician mode that places you in odd battle scenarios to solve Many with unique win conditions, right? So we didn't we didn't hit any of that because you have to play through both. Um, you have to play through all of the story mode to get there. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it's to give you a sense of progression, but um, if you're still making changes, I don't I don't really see why those modes are locked behind the story mode. You know, like I d I don't really see why you would lock them. It doesn't it doesn't seem to, it's not adding anything is what I'm saying. I feel like having those modes available, uh, you know, once you've beaten like one or two levels of story mode, you know, once you've beaten the tutorial and and played through like a couple of levels of, of story mode, um, having them unlock would give people options. Um, I know that they unlock after, you know, the, the various acts and stuff, but uh, yeah, I was playing for quite a while. Maybe, maybe each act is supposed to, it should only take, uh, you know, an hour or two. Which makes sense. So that would be four hours to unlock those other modes. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably fine. It's probably reasonable, but... Yeah, I think I, I'd like them to be unlocked earlier or just start unlocked. Um, and just have story mode as the prime mode. You know, have like, you know, do some design so that it looks different. And then have uh, those other modes like as extra, you know, because that's basically what they are, right? Um, coming post-release, tools to create custom battlefields, which is cool, ranked online multiplayer, additional classes. The battle system in Lo Live by the Sword revolves around 5v5 five, five five battles. The player has the choice of building their team with seven unique classes. The Alchemist, Archer, Assassin, Brawler, Medic, Warrior, and Wizard. So one thing that I, um, that I was really struggling with is that each battle, they sort of just came in with random abilities in story mode. And I didn't really feel like I had a whole lot of control over my build. It was, you know, they were coming in with different abilities each battle. And yeah, I mean, that's fine. But why, why don't I have control over the builds? Because, oh, maybe, here we go. Each class possesses an innate ability as well as a pool of u six unique abilities to choose from. Choose wisely as you can only ch take four into bat battle. Or am I supposed to do that at the start of battle? And so when I press random, I was getting random abilities. I thought it was just random positioning. I didn't realize I was choosing their abilities at the start of each battle. Oh, man. Well, I was totally missing out on a big part of the game, which was selecting my kit. Um, 
which is why I was struggling because some of those abilities were just terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, like blinding potion. I mean, the alchemist class was just, I really did not like him. He, he, he did almost nothing. Honestly, the guy did almost nothing and I just, and, and, you know, I don't know if that's because I wasn't picking his build, man, that is, that is interesting because I never, I never encountered that. I, I just put them on the thing. I didn't realize I was supposed to be clicking on them and choosing, <laughs> and choosing their build. That is hilarious. So not only did I miss out on the skirmish and stuff, but I didn't even choose their builds. I was just clicking random. So I was, I was playing the game on hard mode without even knowing it. Let's have a look at some of these reviews and see what people have to say about it. Uh, Live by the Sword is a turn-based strategy game. Yep. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics. The game is in early access and you will notice most game modes aren't available yet. Oh, so they did it. They did it way. Yeah, they did it right at the start. Seems to be the start of something great. More content will be a welcome addition. I'll be interested to see the finished product as the game goes from early access to fully developed. Archers are, are OP. Yep. And wizards are kamikaze boys that just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, so the archers are really good, and everyone else was really, really, really mediocre. Um, the archer was the only one that I was getting stuff done with. Oh, the punchy guy was quite good as well. But, uh, yeah, since writing this, hit percentages have been added and battle speed has been increased. Yeah, the battle speed, I found the battle speed very slow. Um, and if it's been increased... Yeah, it needs to, there needs to be an option to increase it even more. Uh, music is awesome, sounds right out of Final Fantasy Tactics. Not quite sure if this game will have the grinding that Final Fantasy Tactics does, but if so, I could definitely throw rocks to this OST for hours. Yeah, but it was the same track. I kept listening to the same track. Um, there was just, like, there was no difference in the track as we were playing, and I, yeah, I was, I was struggling with the music, honestly. Um, bad. Game speed is way too slow. I think a bit more information is needed in the UI for a game that's shaping up to be Final Fantasy tactics level challenging. Displaying low high accuracy instead of the actual hit percent is where... Oh, so they fixed that. Um, yeah, but most people like it. The game is sick. It doesn't save. Right? And that's the only negative review that's, that's on this front page. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And if you're into Final Fantasy tactics, it's probably gonna scratch that itch. Um... Game speed is still an issue. I know they've sped it up, but game speed is still an issue. The The repetitiveness of the music is a little bit of an issue. And some of the classes just feel like they don't do anything at all. Um, yeah, and I was going to complain about not getting to pick my kit, but that's, that's on me. That's 100% on this dummy right here. Yeah, so um, props to Labrador Studios because that is all on me. So this is their first game, their only game. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff going for it. If, you, if you're if you into this, if you want to play some multiplayer, if you want to play PvP, if you want to get a, you know, a, a reasonably fun little um, fantasy story, kind of feels like a, you know, like a little D&D event, adventure, um, but on a, on a board. Uh, the tactics, yeah, there are definitely tactics happening. Um, mostly, I missed them. I mean, I was doing tactics with the kit that I was getting, but I think some of the tactics are picking your kit. That's so funny that I just completely failed to, you know, failed to actually do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a struggle. That I'm going to have to reflect on that because sometimes I'm just bad at video games. And if you're in the comments about to tell me that I'm bad at video games, guess what? I already know. Sometimes I'm bad. So, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it there. That's Live by the Sword Tactics. Um, it's a new game. It's on Steam. It's on PC. It's on Switch. It's on Xbox. Um, and the reason why I looked over there is because I've got a little thing um, that tells me all that stuff. Because um, all I can see here is that it's on Steam. And uh, you can play the demo. You can download it right now. And you can check it out. Uh, you can also like this video if you like the video. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more cool stuff like this. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.